Welcome back. We are looking at uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro going through the pages panel and we want to talk about the crop command. If you've got something in your document and you want to uh, not show the whole page, just want to show part of it, in this case let's say I want to show the logo, notice I just clicked on the crop command and then I was able to uh, click my cursor and drag to the area that I wanted to crop, but it doesn't seem like anything's happened. What you have to do is double click in that area to bring up the set page boxes uh, dialog box. This is kind of interesting. Notice it shows the whole page in the uh, display window here and it uh, shows what margins you've created with the box that you've drawn, with the crop area that you've drawn. You can interactively change these and we'll look at that in a minute. But let's just say that I'm happy with what's showing on my screen. I want it just as I created it. And so I'm just going to say OK. And there I have cropped the page and all that shows is what I selected. Well, I decided that I didn't really like that. So I still have the crop tool. I'm going to cr uh, create another crop area and double click on it and notice that it still holds the whole page. Just because you've cropped the page uh, Acrobat doesn't throw the information away that you've cropped out. It still holds it all, it's just not displaying it. And now I've created this rather small cropped box here and what I really want is the whole page back. So I'm going to change all of these margins to be zero and I'm going to say OK and now I have my whole page back. I want to show you one other thing, I'm just arbitrarily going to select this area over here to bring up the dialog box again. And I want to look at the whole dialog box a little bit more. We've only looked at this margin control area and uh, notice that I could select constrained proportions so that if, I, that if I changed one of the dimensions here it would change other things. Um, it allows me to revert the selection so that instead of having what I've selected selected, it has everything else selected. You can play with those on your own time. I want to look at this page range down here and point out that I can select an area of the page and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then say I want to crop all 29 pages of the document. And again, you can either do even and odd, which would be all, or just odd or just even pages. And when you do that, it will crop all of the pages in your document. Now, when would you want to do that? If you have a document that has a big border or perhaps has headers or footers that you don't want in your final, in, in your final PDF, you can uh, crop those out. Um, and so an example might be that I want to take out half an inch from the top and a half inch from the bottom quarter inch from both sides. This won't work on this document because uh, it, it uh, goes beyond those margins, but it'll show you what I mean. Notice that it's cropped out the top, bottoms, and sides. And you can tell by the text running off the edge here that it has placed that crop on all of the pages of the document. Now I really don't like it, so let's see if we can undo it. I can. I can go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 from pages 1 through 29, even and odd. Oop, what happened here? 0, 0, 0, 0 from 1 through 29. OK. And now I've removed all of the cropping. That is the crop command. And in the next video, we'll look at the split document command. See you in a few minutes.